Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2020 horror thriller Bloodhound, a film that is written and directed by Jason Richard Miller and it stars Ed Ackerman. Now this is a documentary style film with found footage elements uh, scattered throughout the film. And it focuses on a private investigator called Abel Walker, played by Ed Ackerman. Now, Ed, uh, or Abel Walker, this private investigator, hires a cameraman to basically film his investigations. Um, to, like, you know, do like a documentary on him. Uh, it doesn't really go into much detail as to why, but he does have a... Uh, high opinion of himself and a bit of an ego so it could just be to do with that and essentially he is given this case where he is given a missing persons case by an ex-husband who asks Abel uh, Walker this private investigator to try and find out where his ex-wife has gone as she's gone missing and even though he doesn't like his ex-wife he doesn't want her dead either and he just wants her found and know that she's safe so this seems like the perfect case for um, this cameraman to film for this, you know, documentary thing. And they head off trying to track down this wife. However, it leads down a more and more dangerous road and they soon realise that their own lives may become increasingly at risk the more they delve into this case. Right. So what did I think of Bloodhound? Well, anybody that watches my reviews and has watched my channel for any length of time and certainly my horror reviews knows I'm quite a big fan of this style of horror filmmaking. I, I certainly like found footage films um, and I quite like the documentary style um, horror films when they're made. Um, if, if they're done in a way that kind of justifies the way they film it now there is justification here for this cameraman being there and filming everything because like I say this private investigator wants him on board to film everything that all makes sense uh, the found footage elements of the film um, only really comes into play kind of when the end credits roll because then you realize well it must be a found footage film um, because the rest of it is doesn't make sense in regards to this documentary style and this found footage because there's like a music score throughout it and it's filmed in such a way where it doesn't feel like either at times so it's a bit of an odd mix of filmmaking choices here now and how the film has been made but you know you can forgive a lot if the film is good unfortunately the film just isn't there's there's so much wrong with this film uh, you just can't forgive its flaws at all um, and I'm quite a forgiving person when it comes to movies and I just couldn't hear I didn't mind the character this this Abel Walker um, even though there was no chemistry really between him and the cameraman and they, they spend a lot of time together on screen and th there was bland conversations between them I didn't really believe any of it and there was no chemistry at all that didn't really work the music score was terrible. It was this awful tinny synthesizer music that didn't fit the music at all, didn't fit the film at all. And simply put, he's the worst private investigator of all time. When when this the investigation starts spiralling out of control and becoming dangerous, and it might be that there's people at risk or people been hurt or murdered. What does Abel Walker, this private investigator, decide to do? Hand it all over to the police? Not a bit of it. Even though they do discuss it um, and then change their minds for no apparent reason, um, they don't decide to get the police involved, which I just could not get my head around at all because any sane person would have done this um, and any private investigator worth his salt would have done this and there didn't seem to be any, th any reason why they wouldn't do it because they don't give one. Um, and I just kept thinking to myself as this kept um, escalating call the police get the police involved you need help you're out of your depth here this is getting seriously dangerous and they just didn't <laughs> I could not understand it the, I really couldn't um, and then there's so many dumb decisions including not calling the police um, he has a weapon Abel Walker he has this 
handgun that it brings out um, and when he's got the opportunity to use it protect to protect himself and his cameraman from a situation that is clearly putting their life at risk he throws it away and at that point I checked out I just thought I can't I cannot take this film seriously anymore um, and you won't take this film seriously down to all these ridiculous decisions that the character makes um, so yeah I, I can't honestly recommend this film for all the things that are wrong with it the style of the film I don't mind it's actually one of my favorites how it's made and filmed is okay the performances certainly from um, Ed Ackerman is fine there are some performances from some of the smaller characters that are pretty bad but like I say I can forgive a lot of things but I just could not forgive the faults in this film they are it's so poorly thought uh, and constructed and put together and and it's just it seems like nobody questioned anything on set like that doesn't make sense this character wouldn't do this and surely you get the police involved even if they'd have filmed them going to the police station and trying to hand it over to the police even though they had plenty of physical evidence to say that this was happening <laughs> I don't know it just it got me progressively angrier as the more I watched this film so I'm, I can only give it a 3 out of 10 I just thought it was abysmally put together um, and how they decided to make this film it didn't suit the film make the filmmaking process that they tried and the uh, character decisions of this film will infuriate you because they certainly did me so that's my review for bloodhound um, it's such a shame because there are some effective scenes in it there's there's a death scene in it that's incredibly brutal um, and it's 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 more of a thriller than a horror but there are certainly horror elements in here um, but I certainly don't recommend it that's definitely for sure 3 out of 10 from me so thanks for watching everybody I hope you found the review useful I'll see you next time for more reviews on Screen Stars